is all set. Mad Max, Maxine Rokotansky. Is looking for her son, or at least trying to find out the fate of her son, and trying to avenge the death of her husband. It's been a bumpy road so far, so let's continue that. I think it's kind of funny. The dog meat isn't dog meat unless Mama Murphy says he's dog meat. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what she's wearing as she wanders down the road of dreams. Let's see here. Uh, Fortelza, belt number two, one of my favorites. Vital wardrobe number eight, combat girl boots. Nice boots. Vital wardrobe number nine, quiet stockings, the leather option. Vital raider jacket, or jacket open. I think that's off uh, wardrobe number one. Wardrobe, uh, I think this was two, three, maybe? Uh, the top that she's wearing, the little cut off crop top thing. And combat gloves. And last time around, she collected quite a few things. New toys to be in her arsenal. And like I said last time, she doesn't have an interceptor, but she does have a dog. Uh-oh. What is it? And of course she's got the sawed-off shotgun. I mean, please. This is Mad Max. She's scaving for resources, of course, to do repairs upon her weaponry, when and if that is absolutely needed. But she is also headed off to Diamond City because she heard from a certain junkie that this is the place to go. This is the place with all the secrets. And thank goodness it's not Barter Town because we all know who run Barter Town? Master Blaster run Barter Town. I mentioned this the last time I played the game was um, what inspired this character wasn't that movie that just came out I have no desire to see that I mean a Mad Max movie without Mad Max I and mean, forget it but I was watching the Road Warrior the other day I broke that out and I was like you know I've been doing this channel for several years now and I don't have a Mad Max character I did have one originally planned to have the no god mode be a male character but since nobody cares or even wants to see male characters on this channel. I was like, okay, we'll make it Maxine. Fair enough. What's this Riptide? What's going on down here? Well, I do know they've got stuff and Maxine wants it. Head, baby, head. You serious? Still got another bogey? Got him. <laughs> that 
That was movie worthy. It really was. <laughs> That's the, look at this guy, man. Look at that thing. What else is in here? I never understood this one. Strategically, this is just a foolish idea, but I mean, they're raiders. I've got nothing against dogs, man, but I'm all about cats. Oh, come on, man. There we go. Sweet. There we go. With her hairstyle, I try to encapsulate that kind of a uh, messed up, ruffled up hair that uh, Max had in the Road Warrior. Of course, he has the long hair in Beyond Thunderdome. I haven't seen Fury Road. Not ever since I heard that it's not really even about Max, it's about uh, he's just a background character. I'm like, well, that's too bad. It's a Mad Max movie. It's supposed to be. But one of these days I will watch it simply for the action. Because I heard that was absolutely phenomenal. So that's, that's pretty awesome stuff. Now, I don't know how true it is, but I also heard that the Max from Fury Road isn't even really the Mad Max from the previous three movies. I'm like, oh, that's, that's a bit odd. I mean, nowadays, since they, you know, so-called reboot, reimagine, basically that means they're going to destroy the property, whatever it is. That's code for it. We're going to destroy it and ruin it. But maybe that's what they did. Which is odd, because it's the same director, George Miller. I wouldn't imagine that he would want to destroy his own um, franchise. It's usually when they put a classic franchise in the hands of other people, that's when it gets destroyed. They'd absolutely ruin it. You'll have to do a lot of uh, weapon repair. get involved with this fight. Unless they attack her, then that's a whole different ball of wax. So she can actually hit them from a distance. She's certainly not doing it for the guards. She's doing it for herself.
Oh, whoops. Green uglies. Hey, trying to attack my dog? Uh-uh, we ain't doing that, man. Why are they attacking dog me? Ah! There we go. Why in the world are they attacking my dog? Oh, I got this. Move, dog meat! Oh, wait! Oh, I guess we ain't going to down the city, man. Scratch that, man. Why did they turn on dog meat? Now, something happened while I wasn't looking. Well, that's kind of and things. Ah. Well, dog meat, we're not going to um, Pemmon City today. This whole town's going to be against her now. Ah. What is up with that? Well, Diamond City isn't the only option, but Diamond City would have been the only way to actually get the story moving. She just has to wait till the heat goes down. Move. Move. Forty four pistol. Teeth, man. What's going on here? Maybe what happened over there will stay over there. <laughs> she can get in. Like, let me in. Let me in. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's so. Hey, <laughs> we might just be able to get in. Man, I had so many questions last time about the whole Wolfgang incident. I still haven't figured it out. So I forgot to look it up after I shut the camera off. But hopefully, 
His DC guards won't attack. And Maxine will be able to get in. It's either that or we've got another fight on our hands. Let's see. Nope, nope, this guy's not attacking. Cool! We're in. What do you mean you can't open the gate? she doesn't really care about a piper Stop or nonsense. Stop around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. Let's take a picture I got of orders her. not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me right, out, is that in. it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. Oh, there he is. <sighs> You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? Yeah. That's you have it. enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? She looks the part, <laughs> too. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna what, open the gate and let us in, Danny? or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. What, did you hear that? Did you hear that, Danny? Danny Sullivan. Head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. <sighs> Danny, he's kind of a slow one, right? You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, she got the time for this nonsense. Piper, who let you back inside? I told <laughs> Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble rousing slanderer. A slanderer? Some of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that critter. That's some, uh, Ooh, that some strong words right there. Slanderer. Well, you can't see too much of the uh, Crab Nebula back there simply because it's daytime daytime is not my time but <laughs> Oh, when you're not interested, their argument ends pretty quick, huh? Favor flips on quite a ship, huh? What do you mean by that? Well, folks are already plenty scared of the Institute. But that doesn't stop the paper from talking about them every chance they get. Anyway, don't let it get to you. Life here is still a hell of a lot safer than out there in the Commonwealth. What's the Institute? Ever heard of the Boogeyman? Shadowy monster that takes people in the night? Well, that's the Institute. But they're just a fact of life around here. Someone gets taken by the Institute or gets killed by a raider. Which is worse. At least inside these walls, you don't have to worry about the raider. So what brings you to the Great Green Jewel? Looking for someone who's gone missing. Gone missing? Who is it? Friend? Relative? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? I'm afraid missing people don't get found in Diamond City. God seems to have turned a blind eye to them. Oh, and with all the that. fear of the Institute in people's hearts, they've turned a blind eye as well. I'm lost, Pastor. I need help. Please. Well, I don't want to get your hopes up. But there is someone who might be able to help. Nick Valentine. He's a detective. Saved a lot of lives over the years. But so many more stay missing. And trouble has a habit of sticking to him. Nick Valentine, huh? 
What's his story? You know the story of the Good Samaritan? Helps a man, even though he has no reason to? Well, I suppose you could say that Nick Valentine is living that parable out. Thanks. I'll go talk to him. Take care of yourself now. Piper, you're back. I don't know why it's so hard for these people to actually cough up Nick's name. I know it's part of the story, you know, it's part of the adventure and all that. Oh, they want you to earn it instead of just having everything handed to you. I get all that. But, but he's the only detective in town. I mean, how hard would it be to cough up his name? It's like, yeah, this dude. He's not really a dude. I know human hair. Alright, let's go ahead and perk her up. Let's see what she's got going on. Ooh, my perk sheet's a little messed up. So we're gonna go with uh oh, look at that. Slinger four. If you nick McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. And I'm gonna need to tool some of my uh weapon. Let's go ahead and open this door to my Myrna. You? I don't know you. <laughs> Just keep your distance. Oh, Myrna, but you really want to. Why? Because I don't know you, and I will not serve a synth pretending to be human. So are you human? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have eyes like oh, a... Myrna. Well, they're good eyes. Got it? Uh -huh. All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. What kind of business are you running here, anyway? We buy and sell anything and everything. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The robot takes care of customers at night. Only one I trust to do it. At least I know he's a machine. Sure. Let's take a look. Everything you need. Good on you, Myrna. You beautiful, beautiful Myrna. No, she doesn't want suppressed. Ooh. Oh, well, that's a clothing article, not. Okay, never mind. I'm sure, she picked up some more smokes, right? Yeah! Max and dog meat are going to be eating good. We got small arms, long arms, ammunition. Just might need this, uh, yes. No skull in the league, it was then a squad. <laughs> the hub of trade for all Diamond City right here. Need some custom hardware? We got a free workbench for all your modifications. Scopes, clip sizes, barrels. Out. 
Standing. Okay. Diamond City Circle. Jazzed up her weapons. Let's go talk to uh, Mr. Some Valentine. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? What? You mean the railroad? And tools That's pieces. a fairy tale, man. They don't Why exist. Now, I heard from my cousin. In. He knows a guy that works for him. He knows a guy who knows a guy who's related to a guy. Follow the Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it, and that kind of yeah. talk is going to get you snatched up by the synths. Yeah. That kind of talk. Shop in safety. No synths allowed at the surplus. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want a history lesson. Yeah, but who wants that? Uh... Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. Ooh, he's talking to the file cabinet. His ties. He's got problems. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Hey. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. Wait, who are you? You the detective? Me? No, I'm Nick's secretary. Handle his appointments, his papers, that sort of thing. Well, that's what I used to do anyway, but now Nick's disappeared and I can't keep a detective agency open without a detective. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast a ways. People with power there care about two things, style and body count. Oh. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's the small matter of expenses. Money, huh? I do have 125 caps in the old rainy day fund. Okay. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. All right, dog meat. The quest has beckoned. And for her own self interest. Maxine will take care of some business. Kyle, it's me. I'm not a synth. Don't move, Sim. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's this. my brother? I swear I'm not a synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes. We're family. Watch your crossfire. Put the gun down now. Ooh, yeah, she is He's in the a crossfire. Synth. <laughs> kill us all. Kyle, no! Okay. Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Well, that wasn't very nice. Look, it's all your fault and your paranoia, too. I need you to step away, Scabber. Not a problem. She's gone, man. Care about that. She's got things to do. If she had her interceptor, she would hop in it, burn rubber, create a nice cloud of white smoke as the tires are screeching on the pavement and take out of there. <laughs> Peel out. Yeah.
Oh. I thought the load time would be... It's okay. It's all right. Just a coffee pot. I thought the load time would be longer. Head on inside. Yeah. Well, at least it's safe here, so she's going to go ahead and... Ah, she forgot to make them. Yeah, I did. She forgot to make my favorite uh, cherry cola grenade. Oh, okay, he's out too. Can I find a uh... ah? I know. Yeah, she's got frag grenades. Let me think. Yep. Okay. I know. I know where to find a. Oh, wait. We we do have the quest, right? Yeah. Okay. I know where to find a chem bench. Looking for Diamond City? No. Just follow the signs. Kim Bench is over here. Sh should be. I remember, right? Was it a Kim or was it a... Uh... Yeah, over here. Oh, yeah, she's got to eat something. The only time I ever remember for somebody to eat. Doesn't she have uh Yeah, there we go. No, it's just a weapons workbench. No. No. Oh, there's an armor bench. There is no cam bench in here, no. Oh no. I was incorrect in my assessments. What's going on with all that? What are you shooting at? Chasing dog meat, are they? Okay. Whoa! You know what I need to do? It's the gun pistol. I need to put this bad boy. Thing in the morning. <laughs> oh, wait, she has a lot of stuff to cook, too. I should have done that in the Diamond City as well. Well, oh, jeez. Would have, could have, should have, huh?
Yeah, but we don't have to tell anybody. Whoa. Are they using that against me? I don't know who they're shooting against. No way. Nothing to do with us. Come on, dog me. We're out of here. <laughs> Forget that. They're fighting against man. That's mm -mm. nothing to do with her. She will avail herself to their boons. Somebody just got a radio playing. What was that? It's a dog. It's a dog! Oh, and you want a little... Okay, all right. You want a little piece. That's all you have to say. Well, she's definitely got a habit of upsetting people. Somebody's got a minigun. Hold up. Dead guy. Caps. I'm sure he'll understand. Magazine. We do anything else rash. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Snubby. And here we are. Park Street Station. Place to call the game here before we crack into that and go get Valentine and all that good stuff. So thank you for watching the show. Thank you for watching the adventures of Mad Maxine. Stay cool. Later. Oh man, see? Max is looking at that clock right there and wondering what time is it? 
It's time to get mad.